Good game, competitive game, 2-2 two -two draw, you, well, you guys tried hard. Uh, take us through the game though, first point for Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, the plan was to get something out of the game which we did. Unfortunately, we didn't walk away with all three points, but i um, still happy and proud that the way the girls performed tonight. Um, we, we created some opportunities and uh, should have been a little bit more composing from the game. Um, such is the nature of the game. And, um, happy. That is coming over the point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ladies first. Okay. Yeah. Um, coach, first of all, a little birdie named Facebook says it's her birthday, so happy birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Secondly, um, as you, you answer the first question, um, you know, getting your first point at home. But um, did you feel like, you, you, you know, put, put, if you had put away some of those chances, the did, 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 did team created a, a number of chances that we played to convert. And what does that say to you about this team? Um, it says that we, we have some work to do. Um, I'd be more worried if we weren't creating the opportunity. That would have been more, more, more worrying. But um, it just means that we just have to be more composed in front of the goal. I mean, it's, it's the first time a lot of them played in, in front at home. So, I mean, of course, there's a little bit of tension. So, um, no excuses, but I mean, we just have to be more clinical. At this level, we have to be more clinical um, in front of you. And uh, my next question from Marlo. Um, you started, you yes. ended the game uh, with the captain's armband. Um, it's been a minute since you played for Jamaica. Um, what, was this, what was it like um, being back on the park for Jamaica? Um, it's always an honor to, to be home and play for Jamaica and wear this jersey. Um, it's even a more amazing honor to end the game with the captain. So I'm very happy to be back. I know everybody's avoiding the politics, but um, was it difficult for you to come out and play given the circumstances um, surrounding the team? Uh, definitely not difficult at all. I think as a professional, anytime my name is called to play for the national team, I'm more than happy to represent and uh, I love my country and it was a difficult decision at all. Question. Next. Uh, for it's kind of early, but um, a point, first point. What's the what's the way going forward? What do you see as the way going forward? But how do you rate our chances of getting to where we want to go? I mean, um, there's still some work to be done, as I said before. Um, I was um, asked to be in charge of these two games for the season, so I mean, it's looking um, beyond this. So I mean, I'm, I'm sure the, the, the technical staff will, will get some more support, and um, hopefully, all the well, we will we'll have all players available for selection to ensure that. The best um, players representing Jamaica. Um, but I must give credit to all of these ladies who um, answered the call and, and, and come out and, and represent themselves well and represent Jamaica well. And we have to applaud them. Um, difficult time, difficult circumstances, um, assembling days and hours before game, and, and they, they gave it their all. And that's all we can ask for when, 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 when um, they give it their all. We're proud, and I'm very proud and happy with the way that they executed. Coach, Coach, um, you said two games in charge. How would you rate your performance over the two games as a coach? Um, I mean, I did what I could do based on the circumstances and the way to times. Um, and to be honest, even just a simple unit um, was, was challenging. And then, um, I did my best. Um, and and go on to with me, I, I did my best in the time. Um, and I think I did my best. And uh, now it's up to probably you now to rate mm -hmm. my performance over the two days. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Marlo, with you coming out here this evening and performing the way you did, any re um, reservations, any feelings about not being selected for the World Cup team? Um, no, uh, it was obviously a hard summer for me, but I think um, if anything it made me a better player. Was able 
able to talk to my family and my close friends and my coach over there and evaluate my game and see what I can do better. And just for me, it's a, it's a blessing to be back and a little bit of a reward for the hard work I put in off the field. Coach. Wow. Sports Max. Um, yeah, question for Marla and then for Coach. Marla, firstly, you're one of the more experienced players in the squad. Do you, what do you think that your role is, or what your role was over this period to really help some of the younger people set it? Yeah, I think I'm more of a leader by example. So just going through my daily routines and, and holding myself proper and setting an example uh, for the younger ones, whether that's a pre-game walk or being on time for meals or whatever the coach asks us to do. So I really think just setting a physical example for the younger players. And coach, you've been around the program for quite some time. You've had a lot of success in women's football, girls' football, throughout the years in Jamaica. I have to ask you, after these two games, you got a taste for it. Do you think that if you were to get the call to be the permanent coach, would you take it or what, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, it, it's something that I'd have to consider. I mean, I've, I've had it at all junior level before being head coach at 15, 17, and 20. And my first time at the, at the senior level. So, um, as I say, I've been around for quite some time, but it's something that I'll, I'll assess if, if, if given the opportunity. Um, that's it for now. Um, coach, I know that um, coaches don't like the single players, but uh, there are two players I, I do not, um, I'm asking you to comment on. Deva Richards, who obviously you know very well um, from the, the youth, the schoolgirl level. I thought she had a good game. Also, I noticed that you found Shanice Foster. So t can you tell me about those two players? I mean, of course, um, Dave has been, I think she did well over both games. Um, she, she, she was um, voted player of the year at her college in, in, in Texas. Um, so she's been doing well. Um, and Foster, unfortunately, had to come home from Israel because of the violence and, you know, and you know, um, we all know her talent and her ability. Um, and she just came out and, 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 and did what she, what she has always been doing. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.